Question 1. Which of the following will help you avoid being hit from behind? Option A. Signaling at least 100 feet before turning. Option B. Keeping your parking lights on at all times. Option C. Using your emergency flashers at least 200 feet before turning. The correct answer is signaling at least 100 feet before turning. Question 2. You sold your vehicle. You must notify within 5 days. Option A. Your insurance company. Option B. DMV. Option C. Your automobile club. The correct answer is Option B. DMV. Question 3. You can make a right turn at a red light after checking for pedestrians and other traffic. Option A. Only if there is a sign that says it is okay. Option B. At any time, as long as you slow down first. Option C. After you stop and there is no sign to prohibit the turn. The correct answer is, after you stop and there is no sign to prohibit the turn. Question 4. When can you merge into a bike lane for a right turn? Option A. Under no circumstances. Option B. No more than 100 feet before turning. Option C. No more than 200 feet before turning. The correct answer is no more than 200 feet before turning. Question 5. When five or more vehicles are following you on a narrow two-lane road, you should Option A. Continue driving and ignore them. Option B. Speed up when they try to pass you. Option C. Pull off the road when it is safe and let them pass. The correct answer is Pull off the road when it is safe and let them pass. Question 6. If you have a conditional driver license, there is R. Option A. A special time limit to renew your license. Option B. Special restrictions you must follow when driving. Option C. Age limits imposed on your driver license. The correct answer is special restrictions you must follow when driving. Question 7. You reach the intersection at the same time as the driver on your left. Who goes first? Option A. The driver on your left goes first. Option B. Whoever is signaling to make a turn. Option C. You go first. The correct answer is you go first. Question 8. You should never park. Option A. 20 feet from a railroad track. Option B. In a space marked with a cross-hatched pattern. Option C. In a bike lane. The correct answer is in a space marked with a cross-hatched pattern. Question 9. Always signal for a turn during the last feet. Option A. 50. Option B. 100. Option C. 75. The correct answer is 100. Question 10. Why should your passengers wear a seatbelt? Option A. It's the law. Option B. It helps prevent accidents. Option C. Passengers are not required to wear seat belts. The correct answer is, it's the law. Question 11. You are driving and come to a corner with a flashing yellow signal light. What should you do? Option A. Wait for the green light before entering. Option B. Slow down and cross carefully. Option C. Stop before crossing. The correct answer is, Slow down and cross carefully. Question 12. This sign means Option A. Stop every time. Option B. Stop stop two feet before the limit line. Option C. Stop only if other vehicles are present. The correct answer is Stop every time. Question 13. You hit a parked car and can't find the owner. What must you do? Option A. Call your insurance company when you get home. Option B. Wait for the owner to return. Option C. Leave a note on the other car. The correct answer is, leave a note on the other car. Question 14. Who has the right of way at an intersection where there are no crosswalks? Option A. The vehicle, but it should slow down. Option B. The pedestrian always. Option C. The pedestrian, but only when a crosswalk is marked. The correct answer is, the pedestrian always. 
Question 15. Which of these statements is true about blind spots? Option A. Look over your right shoulder for a right lane change and your left shoulder for a left lane change. Option B. You only need to turn and look over your right shoulder for lane changes to the right or left. Option C. Vehicles with two outside mirrors do not have blind spots. The correct answer is Option A. Look over your right shoulder for a right lane change and your left shoulder for a left lane change. Question 16. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration back that is. Option A, 500.05 of 1%. Option B, 110.010 of 1%. Option C, 800.08 of 1% or more. The correct answer is 800.08 of 1% or more. Question 17. You are driving on a two-way street and you want to turn left at the corner. Give the right of way to. Option A. Pedestrians on the sidewalk waiting for a walk signal. Option B. Any vehicle coming towards you. Option C. Vehicles stopped at a red light. The correct answer is. Any vehicle coming towards you. Question 18. This sign means. Option A. The road ahead is closed to traffic in all directions. Option B. You cannot enter the road from your direction. Option C. Do not enter unless it is safe. The correct answer is. You cannot enter the road from your direction. Question 19. The speed limit in a residential area is unless otherwise posted. Option A. 35 mile per hour. Option B. 25 mile per hour. Option C, 30 mile per hour. The correct answer is 25 mile per hour. Question 20. This sign means Option A, side road ahead. Option B, another lane is merging with your lane. Option C, you have the right of way. The correct answer is Another lane is merging with your lane. Question 21. When can you cross a solid double yellow line to pass another vehicle? Option A. When you know there are no cars coming towards you. Option B. When a slow-moving vehicle refuses to use a turnout lane. Option C. Under no circumstances. The correct answer is, under no circumstances. Question 22. Light rail vehicles. Option A can preempt traffic signals, option B, must be passed on the right. Option C, do not have the same responsibilities as other vehicles on public roadways. The correct answer is, can preempt traffic signals. Question 23. This sign means, option A, slower traffic keep looking at right. Option B, drive in the right lane at all times. Option C, Stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. The correct answer is, stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. Question 24. What is a safety zone? Option A. An empty lane next to the freeway dividers. Option B. The median strip on a divided highway. Option C. A space set aside for pedestrians. The correct answer is, a space set aside for pedestrians. Question 25. Checking traffic behind you. Option A will help you know if you are being followed by a tailgater. Option B is not a good idea. You should pay attention to the traffic in front of you. Option C is only a good idea when you are slowing down. The correct answer is, will help you know if you are being followed by a tailgater. Question 26. You are driving on a highway. Your tire suddenly goes flat and you need to pull over and get help. Where should you pull over? Option A, in the right-hand lane. Option B, wherever your car will be visible for 200 feet from the front. Option C, off the pavement. The correct answer is, off the pavement. Question 27. You are involved in an accident and there is more than $500 in damages. You must. Option A, show evidence that you have insurance only to a police officer. Option B. Make a written report SR1 to the DMV. Option C. Make a written report SR1 to the CHP only if anyone is injured or killed. 
The correct answer is, make a written report SR1 to the DMV. Question 28. Which of these statements is true about driving and taking drugs? Option A. Most drugs taken for headaches or colds can make a person drowsy. Option B. Drugs and alcohol can be used at the same time. Option C. Prescription drugs are safe to take at any time. The correct answer is, most drugs taken for headaches or colds can make a person drowsy. Question 29. You want to park downhill and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? Option A. Parallel to the road. Option B. Towards the side of the road. Option C. Away from the road. The correct answer is, towards the side of the road. Question 30. A person can ride in the back of a pickup when the Option A. Sides of the pickup bed are at least 24 inches high. Option B. Pickup bed has a seat bolted to the frame. Option C. Back of the pickup is equipped with a restraint seat belt system. The correct answer is. Back of the pickup is equipped with a restraint seat belt system. Question 31. It is illegal to block an intersection. Option A. Under any circumstances. Option B. Unless you have the right of way. Option C, unless some of the cross traffic can get around you. The correct answer is, under any circumstances. Question 32, a curb painted red means. Option A, stopping or parking is not allowed except buses. Option B, parking is for disabled persons only. Option C, parking is for emergency vehicles only. The correct answer is, stopping or parking is not allowed except buses. Question 33. This sign means, Option A, vehicle has the right of way. Option B, slow moving vehicle. Option C, yield to the vehicle. The correct answer is, slow moving vehicle. Question 34. You are approaching a railroad crossing and lights are flashing red. You must. Option A, slow down before crossing. Option B, stop, then proceed when safe. Option C. Stop only if you see a train coming. The correct answer is. Stop, then proceed when safe. Question 35. What is true about large trucks? Option A. They do not need more space to stop and start. Option B. Trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Option C. They do not need more space for turns. The correct answer is. Trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Question 36. To turn left from a one-way street into a one-way street use. Option A. The lane closest to the left curb. Option B. The center left turn lane. Option C. Any lane as long as it is safe. The correct answer is. The lane closest to the left curb. Question 37. What does this sign mean? Option A, do not enter until it is safe. Option B, the road ahead is closed to enter from all directions. Option C, you can't enter the road from your direction. The correct answer is, you can't enter the road from your direction. Question 38, when should you increase your following distance? Option A, when you follow a small passenger car. Option B, when you are crowded by a tailgater. Option C, when you drive slower than the posted speed limit. The correct answer is, when you are crowded by a tailgater. Question 39. Which statement is not true about road workers? Option A, fines are doubled for some violations committed in construction zones. Option B, white signs tell you of closed lanes and road work ahead. Option C. Road working equipment is painted orange. The correct answer is. White signs tell you of closed lanes and road work ahead. Question 40. What does a curb painted blue indicate? Option A. Loading or unloading passengers only. Option B. Parking for a limited time. Option C. Parking for a disabled person with a placard. The correct answer is. Parking for a disabled person with a placard. Question 41. 
What does this sign mean? Option A. You cannot turn left. Option B. You cannot make a U-turn. Option C. You cannot enter the side road. The correct answer is, you cannot make a U-turn. Question 42. Whom must you notify when you sell your vehicle? Option A. Your automobile club. Option B. Your insurance company. Option C. DMV. The correct answer is DMV. Question 43. What is the purpose of this lane? Option A. To pass other vehicles when traffic permits. Option B. To make right turns when traffic permits. Option C. To begin or end left turn when traffic permits. The correct answer is to begin or end left turn when traffic permits. Question 44. When can you drive using only your parking lights? Option A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. Option B. Not under any circumstances. Option C. On foggy days. The correct answer is not under any circumstances. Question 45. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing red lights, what must you do? Option A. Stop only if you see a train coming. Option B. Stop, then proceed when safe. Option C. Slow down before crossing. The correct answer is, stop, then proceed when safe. Question 46. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration back limit for a person 21 years of age or older? Option A. 500.05 of 1%. Option B. 800.08 of 1%. Option C. 110.010 of 1% or more. The correct answer is 800.08 of 1%. Question 47. What is the basic speed law? Option A. Keeping up with the flow of traffic. Option B. Never drive faster than it is safe for current conditions. Option C. Never drive faster than posted speed limits. The correct answer is Never drive faster than it is safe for current conditions. Question 48. Where should you stop your vehicle when there is no limit line? Option A. Out far enough to see cross traffic. Option B. At the corner. Option C. After the crosswalk. The correct answer is at the corner. Question 49. When parking downhill with no curb, which way do you turn your front wheels? Option A, towards the center of the road. Option B, towards the side of the road. Option C, parallel to the road. The correct answer is, towards the side of the road. Question 50. Which of these is a legal U-turn? Option A, on a highway where there is an opening for a turn. Option B, 150 feet before a curve in the road. Option C, in front of a fire station. The correct answer is, on a highway where there is an opening for a turn. Question 51. What is the likely reason for a rear-end collision? Option A, weaving in and out of traffic. Option B, following too closely. Option C, looking in your rearview mirror too often. The correct answer is, following too closely. Question 52. What does the implied consent law mean? Option A, to inspection of your vehicle for alcohol. Option B, to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Option C, for a field sobriety test. The correct answer is, to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 53. When is it against the law to enter an intersection? Option A. The light is yellow. Option B. The light is flashing yellow and you didn't stop first. Option C. You can't get all the way across before the light turns red. The correct answer is, you can't get all the way across before the light turns red. Question 54. When are seat belts not effective? Option A. When going over 40 mph. Option B. Seat belts are always effective. Option C. At slow speeds. The correct answer is, seat belts are always effective. Question 55.
What should you do if you are being tailgated? Option A. Step on your brakes. Option B. Increase your following distance. Option C. Signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass you. The correct answer is. Increase your following distance. Question 56. When may you cross over a double line on the road to pass another vehicle? Option A. If the line on your side of the road is solid yellow. Option B. If the line on your side of the road is broken. Option C. If the line on your side of the road is double solid yellow. The correct answer is. If the line on your side of the road is broken. Question 57. What additional penalty might you face for driving under the influence of alcohol? Option A. Have to pay a fine. Option B. Have your vehicle taken away for 60 days. Option C. Lose your license for up to 18 months. The correct answer is, have to pay a fine. Question 58. What conditions apply if you have a conditional driver license? Option A. A special time limit to renew your license. Option B. Special restrictions you must follow when driving. Option C. Age limits imposed on your driver license. The correct answer is. Special restrictions you must follow when driving. Question 59. What must you do if you are involved in an accident resulting in a death? Option A. Make a written report SR1 to the DMV. Option B. Show evidence that you have insurance only to a police officer. Option C. Make a written report SR1 only to the CHP. The correct answer is. Make a written report SR1 to the DMV. Question 60. Why must you look for bicycle riders in lanes used by motor vehicles? Option A. Must ride facing oncoming traffic. Option B. Have the right of way. Option C. Are entitled to share the road with you. The correct answer is. Are entitled to share the road with you. Question 61. Where should you never park? Option A. In a space marked with a cross-hatched pattern. Option B. In a bike lane. Option C. 20 feet from a railroad track. The correct answer is. In a space marked with a cross-hatched pattern. Question 62. What should you do if you approach an intersection with a malfunctioning traffic signal? Option A. Stop only if other vehicles are present. Option B. Stop, then continue driving when it is safe. Option C. Slow down and stop if necessary. The correct answer is. Stop, then continue driving when it is safe. Question 63. Where should you pull over if you need assistance with a flat tire on a highway? Option A. Off the pavement. Option B. In the right-hand lane. Option C. Wherever your car will be visible for 200 feet from the front. The correct answer is. Off the pavement. Question 64. What do flashing red lights on a stopped school bus indicate? Option A. Stop if you are following the bus, but not if you are across the street from it. Option B. Stop as long as the red lights flash. Option C. Stop first, then proceed when safe. The correct answer is. Stop as long as the red lights flash. Question 65. What does this sign indicate? Option A. Another lane is merging with yours. Option B. Another road crosses yours. Option C. Side road ahead on the right. The correct answer is. Another road crosses yours. Question 66. What is true about large trucks? Option A. They do not need more space to stop and start. Option B. Trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Option C. They do not need more space for turns. The correct answer is, trucks are not as maneuverable as passenger vehicles. Question 67. What do yellow lines on the road separate? Option A. Traffic lanes on one-way streets. Option B. Traffic lanes moving in opposite directions not make a U-turn. Option C. All carpool lanes from regular traffic lanes. The correct answer is, traffic lanes moving in opposite directions not make a U-turn. Question 68. What is the speed limit at a blind intersection? Option A. 15 mile per hour. Option B. 25 mile per hour. Option C. 10 mile per hour. The correct answer is 15 mile per hour. Question 69. 
when you and another driver reach an intersection simultaneously, who has the right of way? Option A, the driver on your left goes first. Option B, you go first. Option C, whoever is signaling to make a turn. The correct answer is, you go first. Question 70. In which direction should you look when approaching an intersection? Option A, left, right, left, and right again before pulling out. Option B, straight ahead, and to the left before pulling out. Option C, left, right, and left again before pulling out. The correct answer is, left, right, and left again before pulling out. Question 71. How do you know you have enough room to return to your driving lane when passing another vehicle? Option A. Can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. Option B. Are two seconds in front of the other vehicle. Option C. Have passed the other vehicle's front bumper. The correct answer is. Can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. Question 72. When should you not exercise your legal right of way? Option A, never, it confuses other drivers. Option B, when it helps prevent accidents. Option C, when other drivers want to drive faster. The correct answer is, when it helps prevent accidents. Here is a bonus gift for you, a free practice test. You can practice this test questions absolutely free on our website. If you do so, it will help you to memorize the question for a long time. This free test is only for our YouTube video viewers. No one else can access this directly from our website. So hurry and practice, practice and practice. Link is provided in the description. Enjoy and good luck for your upcoming test. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share with your friends, and do let us know how we are doing in the comment box.